It's Channel 93.3. I'm Nerf here at Jackson's Lodo, and I am with the Ramona Flowers. How you guys doing? Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for having us. Welcome to Kegs and Eggs, guys. It's, uh, this is the first time we've ever done it in the PM, uh, which is crazy for us, but, uh, but it, it's fun so far, I think, so it's great. Uh, and thank you guys for all your flexibility with time change and everything. I appreciate it. All good. It's amazing to have to get up early, so it's all good. Right? And nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted to see that. Uh, so I was kind of curious. We've been playing your, your song Up All Night. It's a fantastic track. Uh, how did you guys hook up with Niles Rogers on that? Well, basically, we uh, were writing a tune and uh, sort of had a disco vibe. And then we decided we wanted a guitar part that um, sounded like Nile Rogers. So, like, when the boys put the guitars down, we labeled it Nile Guitar Part before we'd even thought about anything else. And then when we finished the track, we were like, God, it sounds like a, a, a sort of guitar part Nile Rogers play. So, um, and then our manager said, uh, Why don't we ask him to do it? And we were like, Well, that's never going to happen, but yeah, all right, whatever. So he got in contact with him, got the song to him, and he got back to him and said he loved it. And then he, get, he got hold of Sam's number and gave Sam a call, and they talked about it. Fantastic. So it never hurts to ask, right? It was a crazy, uh, crazy call. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a great moment. That's awesome. Now, did he come to you guys, or like, did you just like, lay the track down and send it to you? Did you get to hang out with him? And, like, no, we've not met him yet. No? Yeah, it was mid-COVID. Uh, so. wow. He said, he said if, we have, if we ever won the Grammys, he'd come and play with us. There we go. <laughs> so, you know, something to look forward to. Doesn't seem too far off. I think, uh, I think we can make that happen. This All time right. next year, isn't it? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I, I know you guys have a Colorado connection, right? You guys have uh, some family in town? Yeah, my wife grew up in Boulder. Yeah. That's fantastic. Most of her years. That's cool. Is she here tonight? No, she's back home in the UK. Oh, uh, bummer. That's yeah. awesome. It would have been fun to see, like, you know, her husband's well, band. I sent. Well, I think she was more more bummed out about missing the powder that just came out. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, this is cool. You guys, uh, like, ordinarily, one of the questions I love to ask is like, have you ever played a show this early? You know, <laughs> but now it's like it's regular show time, so it's. That's kind of common, but have you guys ever played like something really out of the norm? What's the, like the weirdest show you guys have ever played? Actually, we did. We did one at like 10 a.m. in Japan at Fuji Rock. Wow. And we were like, you know, 10 a.m. festival, no one there. The tent was full, like thousands of people. And then when they started singing all our songs back at us, we were just like, boom. Oh, oh. That's great. <laughs> this is wow. Weird. That is really weird. weird. So it was, it was, um, we did a silent disco in Manchester, which is us playing <laughs> in like a transparent box and just people weird. kind of dancing around looking like they were insane. That's crazy. we couldn't hear anything. There was no PA I've heard, or anything. I've heard of DJs doing silent discos, but not a band. It's like, that's <laughs> yeah. bizarre. That's probably the most <laughs> random, yeah. Had to be like a cold crowd, right? Like, We've never done one since. So. <laughs> no, it was very hot <laughs> and sweaty in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully no, no one good. has. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to do it. Well, that was an experiment. Let's not do that again, you know, like, for sure. Well, crazy. That's awesome. So uh, you guys uh, are from the UK, uh, and you guys, we, we talked about this. I, I saw you guys recently in Las Vegas at a conference, and, like, uh, and it, I was blown away that I had seen you guys. I thought I had not seen you guys before, but you guys were here in 2016 playing with the Heavy, right? That's right, yeah. That's amazing. And like, uh, so if you guys have seen the Heavy, say, at the Bluebird, you may have seen this band and just didn't even realize, because it's like, you know, Many years since then, and like uh, you know, a lot of a lot of time under the bridge. Uh, it was a great show, actually. Yeah, oh, it was cool. It was. Loved it in a great, great venue. Very cool. We loved it. I definitely. It's funny because it's like I never connected the dots, but I remember that whole show, front to back, being fantastic. And like, uh, so like, I know I liked you the first time. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. So I can't wait to see you guys on the stage. Uh, we've been, like I said, we've been playing up all night for a long time. People are excited to see that song live here. Uh, outside of the, the, the rare few that happened to see the Heavy Show a long time ago. So thank you guys for being here, Cakes and Eggs. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thanks thanks for us. Support as well. right. Can't wait. Thank you very much. The Ramona Flowers, it's Channel 93.3, Kegs and Eggs from Coors Light and Slain Irish Whiskey.